Hey guys, it's Khan B, and in today's video, I'm going to be explaining how to use the basic materials in Rec Room Studio. So what I did over here is I just spawned in a 3D cube by right clicking and just adding cube. And what I did on the left hand side, I'm working in my Combi Unity Lab. So I created a folder called materials. We're going to right click and create a material and we'll call this red. And we'll want to change the base map to a red color and just drag that over to our cube. So now we have a red cube. There are a few other inputs that are worth noting. You have the metallic map, which gives off that metallic sheen. But just keep in mind, not all platforms will show the metallic map. Uh, currently, I believe it's the Quest and some other platforms such as Android that may not show that material. So just keep keep that in mind when you play around with your metallic map also smoothness if you increase your smoothness it will reflect light uh, much more than if you were to drag it down so usually you'll have smoothness somewhere in the middle depending on what you're building now if you want to download a material from online i will show you how to input that and get it set up so there is this website called ambientcg.com and they have a bunch of free materials. I picked out this nice rock texture, which I'm going to download um, 2K. And once that's downloaded, I'll show you what the folder looks like. All right, so I downloaded the folder and there's a bunch of files that came with it. So what I'm gonna wanna do is take the ambient occlusion the color and I'm going to select the normal GL files and I'm going to drag that into my project. I'm going to create a new material and I'll call that Rocky and I'm going to apply that to my cube. So obviously it's white because we haven't done anything yet. We'll want to take the color, drag that to your base map. So now we have the basic rock texture, but it looks a little bit flat because we didn't add the bump displacement. So let's add that to the normal map. And it looks a little bit shiny. So you're gonna get this little error that says this texture is not marked as a normal map. Hit fix now, and there you go. Now it looks better. You'll also wanna drag in the ambient occlusion over here and we have a nice rocky texture and it really looks like the grooves are in there but it's really just an optical illusion of how the light bounces off the different parts of the of the square so now what we'll want to do is you could adjust your tilling so this is just how many times the texture repeats usually you want to keep it even so for this one i'll just hit five by five and Obviously now it looks a little bit more rocky and less scaled. You could also offset, which just drags the texture along the axis, but for this case, we don't really need that. And yeah, that's really it. So now you have a nice rocky texture. You want to make sure again, your Rec Room Studio shader is selected. All right, so for transparent objects, I'm going to create another cube and I'm going to create another material and we'll call this blue transparent. And I want to drag that onto my white cube. Let's create a nice blue color. We'll want to change our surface type to transparent. And what you'll notice is not really too much has changed. What you'll want to do is go over to your, make sure your blending mode is in alpha and you could adjust 
the alpha over here by your color for how see-through you want your object to be. So obviously the lower the scale, the more transparent it is. So that's pretty easy to get a nice transparent color. You could even add that to a texture and get a nice water texture for your maps. So yeah, that's how you get transparency. And lastly, I'm going to explain how to do an emission from a material, which is just basically like a neon glow-in-the-dark material that you typically see on Rec Room uh, Cosmetics. So again, I created a new cube. I'm going to create a new material. I'm going to call this Neon Yellow. And I'm going to drag that over to my cube. Now I'm going to create a yellow and click on Emission. And we'll want to make sure that we click on HDR color and select our emissive material. So obviously now it's going to be shining. Obviously you can't see it too well because we're not in a dark atmosphere. So in order to show how emissive this is, what I could do is I could go to my directional light and I could just unclick the light. Obviously it won't make too big of a difference right now unless I had a really dark object next to it. But yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. We'll add a, another cube and we'll just make it a really dark texture. We'll call this black and we'll change it to a black color and add that to the object behind and let's drag this out. There we go. We'll drag over our yellow color and I'll show you how the emission works. So if I unclick the emission, you kind of see everything goes dark. If I click it, it brightens up the scene and you'll be able to see that in your, um, when you download that to Rec Room. Again, you could play around with some of the other inputs, but those are the basics. So you learned how to create materials. You learned how to import textures, how to create transparent textures and how to make emissive textures. So hopefully this helped you out. And if you have any questions, feel free to post below, or if you're part of the Rec Studio Discord, you could find a lot of the answers right over there. And you could also look up some Unity tutorials as well. So I hope this helped you out and I'll see you guys later.